first time this thing's been seen before. You must release me. But if this thing is what's killing all these animals and all these people, why didn't it kill you? <sighs> So we are talking about the movie The Cursed. This one is actually being released in the UK in April of 2016. It did actually debut in the US in 2010 where it was on the Sci-Fi Channel and was actually made way back in 2007. This one is directed by Joel Bender, stars Lewis and Costas Mandalore along with uh, Brad Thornton. Now the story here basically reminds me of elements of the classic horror movie The Fog. So you have this kind of guy, he kind of ends up in small town USA. Isn't it always a small town USA in these films? Anyway, he's basically kind of unwittingly brought this curse with him. And kind of like the fog, basically, it involves a kind of demonic presence which kind of shrouds itself in mist and fog and attacks and kills the locals along with livestock. So basically one of his ancestors is uh, some some naughty things, should we say. And, uh, you know, this is literally coming back in and haunting him. And it's up to him and he teams up with the kind of the, the local sheriff to sort of take down this creature, this kind of ghostly demonic force basically that is terrorising this small community. So that's basically a plot here. So what did I think of The Cursed? I have to say this was a made for TV movie and you can kind of tell, but it was quite good for a made for TV movie. It's not particularly gory, it's not particularly deep, but I think it's fairly well executed. I thought, first of all, the creature looks quite good. It's quite, really, quite a kind of uh, unique design to a certain degree. He has this kind of, um, this maw. It's kind of a bit like the Predator to a certain degree, which you don't really see so much in kind of supernatural creatures. So I quite like their design. Uh, looks quite good. And he's kind of like mist effects, although they're clearly kind of on a lower budget. You know, for a lower budget movie, I still kind of thought, thought, thought they were quite fun. And there is quite a lot of, uh, there's quite a high body count in this movie. Although, uh, you know, a lot of it isn't on screens for some of the time because, like I said, they're trying to retain this kind of this TV sort of uh, you know, rating, I guess. And I have to say, it moves at a fair pace and the characters are all, you know, you know relatively inter interesting. And, uh, you know, the story itself is, is quite compelling. On the negative side, uh, it, it kind of is, it feels like it's shackled somewhat because obviously it is made for a, a kind of a TV uh, audience. The, the editing is is is, bit, is a bit poor here, I have to say. There's some technical elements I didn't think was so good. The editing, first of all, uh, is rather choppy, especially in some of the kind of the kill scenes. You'll, you'll notice the kind of the editing is quite poor and it kind of cuts away. Along with some of the sound elements as well, there are some um, ADR recording, I, I would say, that it, it's quite poor. Uh, some of the acting, you know, is is, is kind of typical kind of B-movie fare. I don't think it's necessarily bad, but it's kind of just typical kind of TV movie acting, but not terrible by any means. Uh, the, in regards to plot-wise, the only thing I didn't really like so much was there is a twist at the end that I felt seemed tacked on and unnecessary. Um, but overall, I would say this is probably a slightly above average um, made-for-TV uh, kind of sci-fi movie i think it uh it stands on somewhere of its own as kind of a um you know has some unique qualities to it it's particularly in regards to the actual creature itself which i did very like um you know an, an interesting quite freak looking monster so i'm going to give this movie a six out of ten have you seen it what do you think of it leave a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.